In this video, we'll be looking at what causes high estrogen levels in a female. My name is Dr. Taranella, and we're going to be looking at uh, some of the enzymes involved in estrogen production and some of the enzymes involved in estrogen breakdown, as well as what you can do to help the body with high estrogen symptoms and or high estrogen actual blood levels. So if you like this type of information and want to see more like it, click on the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel to get more videos like it. Thank you for watching. Let's dig into it. So what causes high estrogen levels in a female? High estrogen levels are going to be caused by higher than normal production of estrogen or slowed breakdown or poor breakdown of estrogen. We will look at the enzymes and biological functions involved in both production and breakdown of estrogens. So on the production side, we have basically the conversion of testosterone into estradiol and the conversion of androstenedione into estrone. Both occur through an aromatase enzyme and the estrone can then be converted into estradiol as well. So this estradiol and estrone could be, uh, in the case of estrone, can then be broken down by a cytochrome enzyme called cytochrome 34A. The resulting estrogens from that are then either bound to a sulfur molecule through sulfation, bound to a glucurate molecule through glucuronidation, or bound to a methyl group through the activity of COMT enzyme. So if you have a high total estrogen, estradiol, or some kind of estrogen excess picture, it makes sense to enhance some of these detoxification pathways. So to enhance sulfation, you can use something like N-acetylcysteine. To enhance glucuronidation, you can use something like calcium deglucurate. To enhance COMT activity, you can use any methyl donor, anything that upregulates SAMe production or actually SAMe and plus magnesium. You can also enhance the activity of the cytochrome P450 enzyme 34A by eating lots of cruciferous vegetables or maybe even taking a supplement like DIM. Another thing to look at is the overall activity of estrogen on the estrogen receptor in the tissues uh, throughout the body. So during both reproductive and non-reproductive years, estradiol is being produced through the conversion of DHEA to androstenedione and then is aromatized into either estradiol or estrone, but eventually into the estradiol, which is the most biologically active. So one can argue that the high estradiol is from the increased aromatization or utilization of the aromatase enzyme is causing the high estradiol levels. So that increased uh, production of estradiol may be coming from the aromatase activity, but what may be more important is the overall uh, activity of the estrogen on the estrogen receptor, and it's going to have that biological effect of what estrogens do to the body. So perhaps more important than the amount of estrogen is the amount of unbound or free estradiol floating around in the system. In order to act in the body, all hormones need to be unbound in order to bind to the receptor. So if you have a lack of sex hormone binding globulin, which is the thing that carries all the estrogens around and some other hormones as well. If you don't have as much of that sex hormone binding globulin around, you're going to have more free estrogen floating around to bind to all of these receptors and therefore have more of that estrogen activity. Typically, high estradiol, high estrogens in general, will cause the liver to upregulate the amount of sex hormone binding globulin that is being produced. So it kind of balances itself out. However, high insulin levels may actually drive down the sex hormone binding globulin production lead, leading to kind of a mismatch or a higher amount of this unbound estradiol, which leads to higher estrogen activity in the tissues of the body. So when there's high estrogen symptoms, clinical picture of high estrogen symptoms, one should uh, also make sure you're looking at the insulin signaling and whether or not there's any insulin resistance going on that may trigger this high free estradiol. All right, that's all I have for this video. What causes high estrogen levels in a female? Hopefully that gives you a better understanding of what actually causes those high estrogen levels, actual blood levels, and also high estrogen symptoms. If you like the video, don't forget to subscribe to the channel and click on the like button to get more videos like it. We'll see you next time.
Thank you for watching.